sold Chicago for a little bit now, basically shopping it out. Got it all cleaned up, plays great, it's about 95% done. It's got a little issue with the drops yet that I'm just waiting on parts. But um, this thing has some serious nicotine stains on the cabinet. I'm gonna hopefully try and show you today how to clean that up, how to get rid of them. I've heard a lot of good things about this product here, crud cutter. I'm sure we're not going to have to use it to concentrate, maybe. But uh, I got myself a little spray bottle. We'll mix some of this, just a little bit with uh, some water. We'll get some uh, paper towels and stuff ready. I'll show you the condition of this cabinet and everything, and then hopefully we can uh, take some of this yellow out. It doesn't affect the gameplay at all, whether I leave it or not. It's, some people call it some patina, but it does make it look better in your basement when you got people over. So let's see what we can do. Let's get to it. All right, here we are looking at the side of the old Chicago cabinet. I'm going to try and adjust my lighting here. I don't have the best light. So look how yellow. This is right around the button here. But underneath, you can see where it used to be somewhat white. I'm sure it's not supposed to be pure phosphorescent white, but more like a, uh, a little brighter than ivory, or I don't know, there's fancy names for it, but an off white. But either way, I'm sure it's not supposed to be dark yellow except for where it's supposed to be dark yellow so what I did is I mixed up my little bottle and the spray bottle this this doesn't really have a color to it so it just looks like soapy water if you can see the soap bubbles there um, let's see this is a 24 ounce plus sprayer I didn't uh, necessarily measure it out but I put about a third which is probably even a little much maybe, maybe a quarter of that bottle is the crud cutter the rest is water so I'm going to set up the tripod it says check it out on an inconspicuous area basically something that you're not going to really see just to test it I do suggest uh, if you're doing it while it's on the machine or at least vertical like I am, if you want to protect your floors, put down at least some newspaper, paper towel or something. I don't really care. This is just uh, concrete that I need to uh, clean up anyway. So I'm going to set up the tripod. We're going to give this a shot. All right, here we go. Try a little bit back here first. Yeah, for me, I'm spraying it right on the wood. Not necessarily the best thing you could do. I could already see it rolling off. Let's see what we can do here. That's yellow. It says leave sit for a minute or so, but vertically, that doesn't really work for me. It's making a little difference though. camera shown, showing it but it is taking a lot of it off it's not just wet that's like a, a yellowish nasty it's working somewhat
Maybe I'll do a, uh, a product comparison because I got a couple other things like Simple Green and I have a product called Zip. Zip is pretty strong in its concentrated form. It likes to discolor paint from what I've seen, so it might be a little too strong. I don't know. We'll see what happens here. For me, where this game is going to sit, the uh, cabinet will be pretty inconspicuous anyway itself. Be sitting in between two machines. All right. Not too bad, but I think we could do better. Maybe if I let it sit longer. Maybe if I try it more concentrated. Hmm. Let's try something. Okay. We're going to try straight from the bottle here, see if there's any difference. Just put a little bit on my paper towel. I'm not going to spray it on like I did with the bottle in case it get, it's too strong and decides to take off more than just a uh, yellowing. Let's see here. I don't know how well the camera is showing this or not. But I do have a little garbage can here. Get that handy. Alright. Spray this with the watered down stuff. not spray this on the play field. This is just for the cabinet. Cabinets were made out of very cheap wood so they could slap these things together and get them out. Like I said in the beginning, you don't play the cabinet. That's for aesthetics. And this game isn't a full restoration. It's basically a refurbish. It's been sitting. We got it going. Playfield was really dirty, but we'll, uh, we got it all cleaned up, ready to go, waxed up. It plays great. So, let's go ahead and we'll finish up the rest of this here. Okay, we're going to try towards the front now. What the scrubbing got me doing is thinking about. See, while we're here, might as well see what works good. I got another sprayer here of, uh, this is just pretty much concentrated simple green. I'll try that. Why not? Let's 
プレスマンズで。レッツセットフォーセグン。Got some off. At least, you know, a lot of these I'm sure I gotta give more of a chance than what I'm doing for this video. And maybe I will. I got some off. I don't think as much as the uh, crud cutter. It's got that simple green smell to it. I do have some Zep Industrial Purple Cleaner and Degreaser. But first thing it says right on the back, highlighted is don't use unpainted surfaces. So, diluted or not, I think I'm gonna pass on that. So, what I also have, some basic uh, kitchen and bathroom cleaners here. So we got some 409 multi-surface cleaner. Let's see what this does. I'm just curious now, I was just going to show you how to clean this off, but now it's kind of turned into a what product works best for this stuff. I don't do this a whole lot as far as scrubbing down cabinets. Hopefully none of these take off the paints. Otherwise this is going to be a learning moment for both of us. Actually working pretty good. Oh. It's pretty dark. I'm using fresh towels every time, so this actually that actually works pretty good. It's probably cheaper too. Oh well, maybe not. This is Friday, um, November 26th, Black Friday, so everybody's out shopping and my goal today is to avoid all of that. So here I am, scrubbing down a pinball machine. That actually worked pretty good. That is the... 409 multi surface cleaner. So now let's try this Clorox cleanup cleaner plus bleach. I'm going to go open this area right here by the uh, where I showed you originally. My arm will probably be in the way for most of it. Let's see what that does. Spray some of that. Ooh, I can see that stuff running down right now. Wow. Oh, if it's not clean, it definitely smells clean. Jesus, that bleach. Look at the stripes. Yeah, that's eating to it. Your eyes are gonna burn from bleach, so. Wow. <laughs> Cleaner plus bleach, my guess is that's straight up freaking bleach. Jesus. Look at these stripes. So you might not need fancy concentrated cleaners.
Not too bad, but I wonder if I can get it as white as this here, or if that's just gonna take a lot more work than what I'm showing here. It's definitely brighter though than what it was. So, last one I have. <coughs> oh, that bleach. Is this Lysol all purpose cleaner? I'm not endorsed by any of these. I'm just a guy that likes working on this stuff and trying out different things. So, we'll see. Let's spray some of this. Um, a lot of it would work better if this cabinet was laying on its side or like a horizontal surface that this stuff can sit and soak in for a minute. That. that one smells the nicest though because it's got the lemon Clorox definitely smells clean and you saw it leaving the streak so it is it's working maybe it's taking everything off including paint I don't know crud cutter works pretty good zip I didn't try I'm a little scared to and the 409, that didn't work all that bad either. Or simple green, maybe if I left it on longer. It's got a distinct smell to it also. Alright, this, like I said, this wasn't supposed to turn into a product testing. This is just going to be a wipe it down and show you what comes off. But we've gone this far. Those of you that have worked on play fields and cleaned them, I'm going to try some regular alcohol. I'm always dipping Q-tips and stuff in this to clean this, so when I grab a bottle, I always write, not sterile, on the side, just, you know, somebody gets hurt or something. I don't want them coming down and grabbing alcohol when it's not really clean anymore. So. Obviously, we know what alcohol smells like. That's strong. Clean cloth. Let's see. My goal is to get that super white. Not the rest of it. That would be great. But it's good for cleaning and light degreasing. I don't know if it's so great for nicotine removal. Eh. I'm not really noticing any difference. Other than the smell, try it a little bit more. I'm really not noticing anything. I like that down too, why not? Far, I wouldn't recommend that waste of time. So last I have, and I'm looking around at my supply that I have is when I clean off the uh, play fields and stuff. I guess I could try Magic Eraser and all that other crap on here. Hmm, that might be something else. It is uh, naphtha. Clean cloth, let's try this. Because this is what I usually clean up uh, play fields with. It cuts right through a lot of that stuff. But let's see what it does for nicotine. I don't 
dries fast, so maybe that's not the best product for that either, but it was worth a shot. Now, I'm not noticing any difference with the nap, but it actually kind of surprises me. It's on the play field that works wonders. Now, I barely see, I know I'm rubbing the same spot in a lot of places, but hoping one can take off more than the other. But for that, I don't recommend it. So, what do I want to use here? I'm really thinking about it. I really don't want to use Magic Eraser because then that leaves that white residue if you've ever used it before. And then you got to go over it again anyway. And for me, I'm just trying to get a just a majority of this nicotine off of here. It's not a, a it's not killing the vibe of the game or anything for me. But uh, I figure I'd give it a shot and see. So far, I think this Clorox cleaner is working one of the best. I'm going to leave that sit for a minute. Soak it down a little bit. looking better. I don't know how well the camera's picking it up, but it's definitely brighter than what it was. You know, it needs, it needs a little bit more work and you're seeing this other than in spots where you might see that the video uh, fade out. This is all in real time, so I'm sure if I took my time with it really dug in, I'm sure it could be a lot better. You know, I'll just do this one side for you guys unless I see something that's truly amazing. But I'll go ahead and do the rest of this game up. Call it a day as far as this video. I guess you guys can make your decision on what works best for you. Or if you got suggestions of what works better, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. I like doing the stuff, not necessarily the, the cleaning part. I like how it looks when it's done, but you know, work is work. And that was again with the uh, with the crud cutter. See, the crud cutter still cutting into it, so maybe I will continue to use that. Maybe this is heavy enough that it's going to take a couple passes. So, thanks for bearing with me. I don't want to sound like everybody else out there, but it really does help if you guys uh, like and or subscribe to this channel. I know some of this can get kind of boring and tedious, but, you know, hey, this game's 45 years old, it's as old as I am, and I think it's uh, starting to look and play real nice. So, until next time, thanks again guys.